Hello, welcome to How to Play Metro X Saskatoon, an official fan variant for any number of players. So, like always with Metro X, you're going to have a sheet and you're going to draw a card. That card number has been put in a window and then you're allowed to make that many X's. You can make less, but you're allowed to make that many X's in the process of filling up your card. Skip twos can skip a place where there's a conflict, such as right there we had a X in blue that we skipped the X that was in yellow and blue and went to the next available. Three X's, three cards let you put an X anywhere at the end, at the beginning, it doesn't matter where. You do not have to mark a window. And transfers get marked with an X in the window and then you go to the first place uh, that's the next available spot and you write how many lines are going through there and double it. So in this case we had three lines so we're going to go with six. So we'll zoom in for a little bit. Now the thing I noticed with the Saskatoon map they did not score or have scores for people who come in second place. So this is more of a solitaire map, but honestly, you could probably play it uh, using half points uh, for those who come in second. Half points rounded down, so if there's a three, round down to one uh, instead of one and a half points. Uh, just an idea. They should have done a better job. But this is the thing I love about Metro X. It's very, very simple. Satisfying solitaire put your mind at ease um, and better than that is that it begs for community creativity almost every major metropolitan city has a transit map of some sort whether it's a subway system or train system or bus system this map can be adapted to any mass transit uh, system in the United States Canada or the rest of the world doesn't matter where and this is begging for fan creativity which is something I've loved about this game so far is that there's a map for Paris, there's a map for London, there's a map for uh, Saskatoon, and I think a few other cities. But if you have a Board Game Geek, Geek account, um, you'll see the link in the description for this map. And it's a simple uh, JPEG or GIF, I can't remember which. You print it up, laminate it, and it's yours for life. And if you live somewhere where there's a mass transit system and you want to kind of incorporate it, you can kind of customize it like this map did or like the New York City map did. The New York City map is pretty interesting. This one had a lot of transfer points that were only worth four points and a few that were worth quite a bit, but you kind of had to really pre-plan to get to them. So if you like a challenging map, this was quite a challenging map. And I just love the idea of having creativity in games and encouraging fans to make their own maps. Uh, the rule set for this is simple. I think there's a sequel to this game uh, that's available in Europe. It has a couple of uh, maps in it. it. has a London system map that's not the same as the created uh, map by a fan. It has a few other cities in there. But this is a wonderful Japanese uh, flip and write, meaning you have cards and you flip uh, in order for everybody to know what they're going to do. And that's the thing, when you're playing this with multiple people, you can have this as a perfect large crowd game because as long as you have a sheet for everybody and a marker for everybody, you can play this game as many players as possible. So now we see our free space come up, and we can put an X anywhere, so we'll contemplate where to put it for a second, and we'll go from there. But that's what I love about it. I love a game that can entertain a lot of people. Uh, very easily. Now I just realized I did not actually complete that light blue uh, route. thought I did. And uh, Metro X is that type of game that can you can have a lot of people playing it at once. And everybody's following whatever the card was. So if you're playing this with multiple people, obviously you wait to, uh, until everybody's done and finished completing their moves before you flip the cards. And other than that, this is just an absolute... A uh, fun game. It's relaxing. It's not overly serious. The choices are extremely simple. But as far as uh, card counting and what the next card has, what's going to happen is eventually you are going to draw the six card. Six card gives you six spaces or less, depending if you run into a blockage before that. And once you reach the card that with the six on it, you have to reshuffle the entire deck. That's a small deck of cards, and uh, somebody's made a website to do this automatically for you, which I find works better, but I always forget about it every time I play this game, so might as well use the physical cards. Plus, uh, 
phone screens don't really show up too well on uh, on camera. And let's see what we get on this next card. We get a three. And that's what's uh, kind of fun about this game is deciding where in the world you're going to play these numbers, where you're going to make your marks. And um, in the case of, let's say, this uh, black line here, just to clarify in case any, there's any confusion, there was a X on the first available spot. You don't need a skip card. You just go to the next available spot. You'll need a skip card if the first uh, space is blank, then the next space is marked. If you don't use a skip card, you'll only be able to make one X no matter what the number is. So now we've reached our six. We'll put it on the black, I believe. Yep. And it's one, two, three, four spaces. And now the uh, six, uh, the black line is done. And now we get to shuffle. So you don't always have to use the entire number. You, you can always be less than that number. Even when you have an available space to do all of that number, let's say you're trying to leave a space open so that you can have a transfer later, that is allowed. You're allowed to, let's say you draw a six card and the six spot is where you're trying to have a transfer card being used, you're allowed then to just mark five. Or let's say maybe the, uh, skip, uh, the transfer spot was uh, four spaces away, a six gets drawn up, you can uh, literally make three X's and leave that spot open. You're not required to make all the mar available marks. You just can't make any more than what the card says. So, really easy game. Not a whole lot to it. You kind of need a penalty uh, a table. And the green card there is just a reference card to remind you of what the rules are. But, uh, this is a game you can pick up in five minutes. Uh... Maybe even less than that. Real easy to explain to people. And then the scoring, we'll go over the scoring here as soon as this game is finished. But overall, just a really relaxing experience. Something perfect for whether you're by yourself or you have somebody to entertain. It's a group solitaire. Everybody's playing their own game. There's no interaction. There's no offense or defense. Just mark your space and try to be uh, better for a uh, clairvoyant player than somebody else. Now, the Saskatoon map, I did notice that some of these places we could not uh, really mark. So now we've finished. What we're doing now is we're counting all the completed um, lines. Now we're going to count up and sum up our transfer spots. Now we're counting our empty spaces. We have, looks like, 12, I think. Yeah. 12, so that means that was worth 6 points, negative 6 points. So now we only have 20 points. So that's the uh, basically how you play Metro X Saskatoon. So if you click under the description, you'll see all these uh, links. One of them is our Reddit uh, subgroup, Card Game Meetups. There's a great Discord channel where we discuss uh, traditional card games. Here are all the channels that I recommend in the description to uh, check out. Uh, and if they ever have a game that... Um, or if there's ever a game that they don't have and I don't have and you want to see demonstrated, uh, leave a comment and I will look into it and work it in the schedule of games to shoot and film. So like always, uh, if you want to actually meet people up play Metro X uh, Saskatoon, come to the subreddit card game meetups. Post your city, post what games you know, post what games you want to know and what you'd want to play. And hopefully we'll see you next card game and thanks for watching.